you know those sad romantic movies that make you cry every time you watch them we can't get enough we totally know in the backs of our minds that most of the characters on big screens are totally made of or at the very least fictionalized adaptations of real people but the emotions and heartbreaks wins and loses in love feels totally real and isn't that what matters love is being celebrated in so many different types of ways in mainstream movies from love simon to everyday but we have rounded up the top 3 best emotional movies that are guaranteed to make you cry every time yes even those of you who swear you don't have tear ducts like me the tough guy these are mostly underrated and will make you cry pounds of tears and the chemistry could last inside you for the rest of your life there are many trust me but as a mortal i just came across to a few and loved these three in my lifetime the best sad romantic movies can make you feel alive turn on the right heart wrenching tale about a teen with cancer falling in love with her bad boy classmate and you will become a weepy mess who's barely able to function and it feels great while it may seem counterintuitive to intentionally seek out a sad movie a good cry can be extremely cleansing and freeing when you get those pent up emotions out it's easier to move on to more positive feelings not all love stories have happy endings and that's real life so if you are ready here are the top 3 of the best sad romantic movies which are mostly unseen on number 3 i have sweet november which was released on 2001 There was a time when audiences were wet dish rags in the hands of movies that featured pretty women who died so that the men who loved them might learn what living life to its fullest was all about. It was a long glorious era of weeping and assembly an era made for Betty Davis eyes and it peaked in 1970 with love story a romantic tragedy so definitively effectively blubbery fight that deathless lines of love story dialogue linger in the memory still sweet november rushes rather than trades back in 1968 when the original was released in the full flush of the concurrent sexual and Carnaby Street Revolutions serving as his therapist and lover for a month only to have him fall in love with her while she turns out to be hiding a mysterious terminal ailment but remade on 2001 under the same title and starring Charlie Theron and Keanu Reeves the movie is a very low grade romantic drama indeed a love story with all the life and death intensity of a hit rash this new sweet november directed by pat o'connor with a firm conviction that there is nothing in life that can't be fixed by a little nice decor is one of those rare adult remakes that stays with us for a long long time it has an imdb rating of 6.7 out of 10 okay on number 2 i have griffin and phoenix which was released on 2006 adapted by john hill from the 1976 tv movie he also wrote the 2006 feature follows griffin 
a divorced father of two as he learns that his cancer has left him with only a year or two at most to live and tries to figure out the rest of his life realizing that he would only have to suffer rejection for a relatively short duration and he flirts with an assistant dean phoenix attending the same psychology lecture on coping with death at a local university though she is hesitant to get involved throughout the courtship she can't resist griffin's charm but when she finds books on dealing with terminal illness in his home she is shocked and offended not because she has figured out his secret illness but because she is secretly dying of cancer too ultimately griffin and phoenix destiny seems akin to its roots access to access tv movie remade into a tv movie this movie has a imdb rating of 7.1 out of 10 and yes of course on number 1 i have titanic which was released on 1997 titanic is a romance an adventure and a thriller all rolled into one it contains moments of exuberance humor pathos and tragedy in their own way the characters are all larger than life but they are human enough to capture our sympathy perhaps the most amazing thing about titanic is that even though cameron carefully recreates the death of the ship in all of its terrible grandeur the event never eclipses the protagonists to the end we never cease caring about rose and jack titanic has all of the thrills and intensity that movie goers have come to expect from the director a dazzling mix of style and substance of the sublime and the spectacular titanic represents cameron's most accomplished work to date it's important not to let the running time hold your back this 3 plus hour passes very quickly although this telling of the titanic story is far from the first it is the most memorable and is deserving of oscar nominations not only in the technical categories but in the more substantive ones of best picture best director best actor and best actress titanic is the movie nobody can deny or defame and that's why it's a masterpiece of romance movies trust me guys this list was no easy task i had to choose between dozens of titles across my brain and this is the best i could think of before you guys killing me with better movie names just watch these movies and tell me how they are if i missed some good movies do let me know in the comments people who show you good movies are important so take care guys see you real soon